Hey guys, good morning. It's about 9.30 or so and I just wanted to pick up the camera and vlog. I'm currently in DC this week for work, which if you guys are relatively new to my channel, then you may not have known that I actually lived out here before I moved to California last year. So I had meetings yesterday. I have some meetings tomorrow, but today is pretty open as far as like time commitments. I have nothing on my calendar. I do need to do some prep and stuff for the meetings tomorrow, but Overall, I kind of just have my own schedule today. So I wanted to vlog, I wanna take you guys along with me. I wanna go and I wanna work out some coffee shops. I wanna get my nails done at my favorite nail salon. I actually wanna to go to Georgetown later, I think, as well. So let's get this day started. Before we head out, I really wanna show you guys my Airbnb because one, I'm obsessed with it, it's stunning. But two, I'm gonna link it down below because if you guys wanna visit the DC area, I highly recommend staying in Boston and specifically in this Airbnb. Boston is not a tourist spot, but it's like a mini city. It's not as busy and there's very like walkable things to like go eat, go to coffee shops, things like that. And the metro system's right here, the bus system's right here, and those are so well done out here that it's really Really nice to not stay in like the chaos and the crowdedness of DC but instead stay in, like a five to ten minute metro ride outside of it and it can take you to all of the different like tourist spots that you want to go to in Arlington and DC so let's look at this Airbnb so you walk in and this is what you see first have bedroom number one and you have this whole shower set up I didn't even realize I had a two bedroom. I thought I got a one. So this is bedroom number one where I first put my stuff the night I came in. So there's, you know, my junk, but this is bedroom number one. And this is like the view of it. Really gorgeous. The sun rises over there, so it's beautiful. And then you have like a closet and stuff if you're staying here longer. But then this is like the star of the show. A corner unit with this stunning kitchen. Oh my gosh, beautiful. But then this is the view. I'm on the 12th floor and you can hear loud vehicles for no good reason, I'm sure. But this view is so amazing. It does have a little balcony, but they don't like put anything out there. And then this is bedroom number two. Come on, lighten back up, please. But this is also so nice. So my stuff is here, obviously, spread out <laughs> random points. So this is the view of the second bedroom. Like, are you joking? Are you joking? And then we also have the bathroom in here. It's a nice stand and shower, walk in shower. So I'm completely obsessed with this place. I mean, rightfully so. So I will link it down below if you guys want to book it yourselves. For now, we are going to pack up my bag and head to my nail salon. This is by far my favorite nail salon. I feel like it's fairly priced and like the quality of their manicures are really good. So if you're in the Boston area, definitely go to Mint Lounge. I just got on the bus. I pretty much ran here after my nail appointment ended. So I will show you them better in the sunlight, but they're stunning. So now I'm headed to Georgetown. I love Georgetown so much. I've missed it so much. I'm so glad to be here. I feel like the last time I was here was during winter. So let's go hit a few places.
So I just left the coffee shop, but I came over to another area that has like some seating just so I could talk with you guys and give you an update because I don't think we talked after I went into Brandy Melville. So I stopped in there. I got a few things. I actually packed really light for this trip, but in hindsight, I wish I would have, I don't know, packed a little more like casual things. I bought two t-shirts from Brandy. I bought this one that says Georgetown and then another like random kind of big t-shirt and then some sweatpants. Things that I will wear outside of just this, but I'm glad that I have them now. And then I walked over to the coffee shop. So I just like walked around until I found something I thought was gonna be great. So I stopped at Blank Street. It was nice because it was on like, I don't know, a little side street. So it wasn't like the main hustle bustle of like the main street of Georgetown. I liked the like area of it. Like it was really cute in there, great to do work. And I got the blueberry matcha. So you guys saw me like do a little taste test, that initial reaction. Absolutely delicious. The blueberry matcha, chef's kiss. So I would totally recommend this place and I will definitely want to go back. But the place that I stopped at to give you guys a like verbal update, Cafe Georgetown. She is beauty, she is grace, she is my aesthetic. Like I'm completely in love with it, like my nails. The blues, the blues. Also, here is a close up of my nails. They look so, so good. I got, I don't know, it was like alpaca my bags from OPI and then a chrome on top. So I love how they turned out. Georgetown is literally the reason I love blue, I'm pretty sure. So that was really great. And then, yeah, I just did some work at the coffee shop and now I wanna walk around a bit more and I wanna make my way towards a bookstore that's here. I just passed a corner where I saw a sign saying that Barnes & Noble is coming soon. So I am definitely coming back when Barnes is here. I, I was messaging Riley all these like pictures today and I was like, okay, yeah, we're coming back. First of all, you have to fly here today, but if you can't do that, we are planning a trip here so that I can like show her this area and fall in love again, but also when Barnes is here. Okay, this book looks so, so good. It's called The Once and Future Witches. And so it has like the fantastical element of like witches, but it seems to be about like strong women. Um, it says in 1893, there's no such thing as witches. There used to be in the wild dark days before the burning began, but now witching is nothing but tidy charms and nursery rhymes. If the modern woman wants any measure of power, she must find it at the ballot box. It says, but when Eastward, Eastwood sisters, plus their names, join the suffragists, of New Salem, they began to pursue the forgotten words in ways that might turn the women's movement into witches' movement. Yeah. Yeah, perfect for fall. I also want to continue on with this series this fall, so I've read this one. I really liked it. I just need to continue it, so I don't remember. I think it's Shadow of Night is book two, so I don't want to do a reread of this, but I might have to. Also, mini recommendation for fall time. Like I feel like academic setting books are perfect for fall as people go back to school. This one was my favorite probably because it's physics based and my degree and job is to do with physics but it was so good. In August my book club pick was Butcher and Blackbird and I absolutely loved it as a true crime loving girly. Two serial killers falling in love like say less. I think I gave it like four and a half stars so I saw that they had Leather and Mark, which is book number two that recently came out. So I think I'm gonna buy it here. I just went on Libby and saw that I could get the audiobook right now. So this is gonna be perfect. I love buying. You know, like anytime I'm traveling somewhere, I love to be able to buy from one of the local bookstores. But I try not to just like buy a book to buy a book anymore. I try to like choose books to buy that like are on my list as like, I'm gonna read this soon. And like this is definitely on it. Okay, 
Okay, I just got back to the Airbnb. I took the same bus that took me to Georgetown, back to Boston. I think my favorite thing about the bus system specifically here is the fact that there are so many routes and in that route, there's probably like four or five buses that are running it. So when you want a specific bus, you have one coming like every 15 minutes max. And I feel like that just makes it go by so much quicker. And because of the routes, like there's a bus that literally takes me from Boston directly to Georgetown. And then it like goes all the way down through Georgetown and comes back through here. And then like that is its route. And so I just feel like there's so many for exactly what you need. And then obviously like the Metro can get you kind of those further distances like quicker. But I wanted to give you guys a quick call. So you guys officially can see I got a Georgetown t-shirt. I love it. One thing about me, I love blue. It's my entire existence. So Georgetown, I didn't realize like, Maybe that's why I subconsciously am so obsessed with it. It's very much giving that like East Coast feel, like that Charleston blue, you know, like Georgetown has the same vibe. So I got a pair of sweatpants that are that same kind of like washed out navy blue. I love their sweatpants, specifically the ones that like have the thicker band. They have like the short, like tiny band too. Not as cute, not as flattering. And then I just saw this t-shirt and I liked it. As simple as that, so it's the same kind of like blue, but it's like a gray shirt versus this being white Georgetown. I do have like a light color blue long sleeve Georgetown shirt, but I find myself never wearing it. I feel like I'm such a t-shirt person, like t-shirt and shorts, that it's rare that I have a long sleeve on, but maybe I do during the winter that I forgot. But these, these are my pieces that I picked up today. And then you guys saw that I got the book at Bridge Street Books. So cute. Okay, I kind of need to gather myself. It's like 3 o'clock, Okay, about 3.30. Um, and I do have work that I need to do and other stuff I'm sure on my list. I need to still might do, still do my wow words. I still need to read my Throne of Glass day three reading. Cause I'm buddy reading that with my friend Riley. And I'm also doing a vlog for that. But I also wouldn't mind doing some other reading. I'm in the middle of Fox Book. That's kind of the book that I've officially started on the side. So I'd like to do focus, focus, thank you. Um, I'd like to do that today as well. So for now, I'm gonna gather my thoughts and I will see you guys in a bit. Sorry for the annoying beeping if you can hear that, but we are headed to Target. I left my phone charging upstairs. I'm gonna go get just like a couple things because I need to work for pretty much the rest of the day, like to that and reading. So I just wanna have some stuff that I can like snack on and drink here. You know, but how perfect is this blue? Only $28? Are you joking? Okay, well I have to do that. And then I also got these as like something sweet because I do have a thing of chip things. I have like the top fries. I already have a couple snacks. So I just got like raisinettes as like something sweet and then the baby goldfish. I already have like hot fries, like a chips type of snack. And then I have like some beef sticks and a little snack pack that's like a Chex Mix that I got from the plane. And I have to remember, I'm not moving in. <laughs> just wait. I feel like I'm just gonna be like, you know what, I'm moving back. Um, but I feel like I may be good. I'm gonna get, I already have tea, and then I'm gonna get, I think, a cold soda. Already like, already cold one of the like machine things up front. Okay, yeah. I don't need any more of this. Like I am here tomorrow and that's it. Okay, I feel like it was kind of hard to talk in there, but I just got a few snacks because I already had stuff at my place. So I just need like kind of fit all the categories of salty, sweet, all of that. No, but guys, we could totally picture me here, right? Like we could picture it, the vlogs, just my weekly vlogs just here. It's getting hard every second. I'm gonna show you guys the snacks that I now have. I feel pretty set up because I'll still order probably like an Uber Eats delivery of some sort for dinner. But at Target, I just picked up the baby goldfish and then the raisin, like covered chocolate raisin things. California raisins covered in chocolate? I love that. 
And then I already had this snack pack from my flight out here that I never ate. And then I grabbed like a couple beef, like chomp type stick things from the office on my way out. I was like, oh, I'm starving. And then I grabbed a couple and then I never ate them. And then I literally flew here with these. So Ayana, if you're watching, I recently hung out with her and she like reintroduced these to me. I'm like, I haven't had these in so long and now I'm obsessed. So I bought them and I haven't eaten them yet. I already have like a tea in there. So that would be good to have with the like hot fries. But then I'm a big soda girly. So I got some soda as well. Okay, now I probably need to grab my laptop. I think I'm gonna set up well, someone with an outlet, but like I love this table. They have this table set up here as like a mini dining table, but obviously a great workspace as well. So maybe I'll set up here or maybe on the couch. I don't know, but I definitely wanna work out here because the views, I can't get enough. <laughs> been a little bit it's about 7 15 or so i've just been sitting here working on the powerpoint for tomorrow's meeting i know i sometimes talk about my job on here i usually choose not to but to talk about it a little bit i am an orbit analyst and my job very summarized is i work with data on space objects so my role for this powerpoint my contribution if you will was to kind of go over the analysis and stuff that i've seen over the last month and be able to take screenshots using our tools and everything like that, put it in this PowerPoint to ultimately be able to discuss it tomorrow with both technical and non-technical people. So I'm very excited about it because I love the work that I do in my day to day. And so to be able to showcase that to other people and like show them cool stuff going on in space, I feel like is always interesting and fun. So that's what I've been doing. I've been honestly in this like good groove with it. A lot of just like doing what I love to do and like redoing work that I've done the past month, like just to make sure I get the right screenshots and showcase the event right and everything like that and then copy paste. So I feel like it's been pretty mindless tasking, but now I'm not necessarily done, but kind of hit the stopping point where I was like, oh, I want to update you guys. I'm going to continue on doing this. I feel like I should be done in the next hour, which would be perfect because the NFL starts tonight. How could I have forgotten? Oh my gosh. So the Chiefs versus Ravens kicks it off. And for those that don't know, I'm a Chiefs fan. I actually grew up in Kansas. I was not a Chiefs fan at that point. I always say that I was a Peyton Manning fan. So I was a Colts fan. Turned into a Broncos fan. When he retired, I had an identity crisis. And then I started just kind of following the Chiefs. Like, oh, that's my like home team, if you will. But then obviously they're really good. And it's easy to kind of get behind a good team <laughs> when they're winning. Um, so it's been fun the last few years, like following them and like getting more involved in like all of the players. But yeah, so I'm excited because they're kicking off the season and I want to watch that. So I think that's going to be my main focus is make sure that this is like done so that when 8.20, I believe, is when the game starts, when that happens, I'm ready. I'm sat watching it. So as you guys can see, I'm watching the game and I just ordered food on Uber Eats. It should be here in just a few minutes. So I'm going to go down and grab that. But I finished up all that I can right now for the PowerPoint for tomorrow's meeting. So I'll just do some final touches in the morning when I can get some feedback on other people. So I'm going to go get my food and continue watching the game. Okay, it's now about 10 o'clock and I'm feeling tired. The halftime just started for the game, so I think I'm gonna use this time to go like wash my face, get into bed, of course bring my laptop so I can continue watching the game until I fall asleep. I didn't get any reading done today, but I feel like I prioritized like having fun in Georgetown during the day, knowing I could work at night. 
So by doing that, working at night took away from reading because the books that I'm reading right now, I want to physically read as well. Like I have the audiobooks, but Throne of Glass, I'm doing the reading vlog. I'm doing the buddy read. Like I want to make sure I'm in it, understanding everything going on. And then I'm also reading Fox Glove. I'm utterly obsessed. Like I started it. I'm only 50 pages in. Just the 50 pages, like page 10, page two, I was like in it. So I want to be like paying attention to it. I often listen to audiobooks while I work, but I don't want to start a third book right now. So I just want to read those two. Therefore, focused on work, didn't do any reading. So I'm okay with it. Riley and I touched base and we're just going to push the reading to tomorrow because we're like, you know, reading each day with each other. So she hasn't done any of Throne of Glass reading today as well. So it worked out for both of us. But yeah, I think I'm just going to wind wind down for the day. This was such a fun like daily vlog. I feel like I rarely do daily vlogs anymore, but I love Georgetown. I love the Boston area, and I really just wanted to document today when I had kind of the extra freedom to pretend like I lived here again. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you in my next one.